Mr. Yeah. Going back to something the uh, Secretary of State said, he referred to the implementation period. Um, we were told clearly by the Prime Minister on many occasions that the implementation period would be time limited and it was an implementation period, not a transition period, so that the time that the implementation period was agreed, uh, we would know what we were implementing. And, and one of the reasons she said that, is she said she didn't believe Parliament or the British people would put up with £39 billion pounds of their money being given to the EU without the knowledge of what was to come. And I think she slapped down any minister who called it a transition period. And she also said, Chairman, that nothing is agreed till everything's agreed. And Mr Barnier said, by October of this year, we will have complete, we must complete the work on the withdrawal and between October and March we will finalise what we're implementing so that when the, the signing of it occurs we will know the complete deal. That was the policy. When did that change, Secretary of State? Well, I think on, on your first point, which is... is no, no, when is did the, it change? I don't want the waffle. When did it change? Well, I think there were several points you raised, so I was just going to go through the different ones. So firstly, you raised the issue in terms of whether the implementation period is time limited. Uh, I think the answer to that is yes, it is. It is uh, up to the end of 2020. No, but, it's not. No, no, but, come on. No, Jim, you can't get away with that. You know that there is an option to extend well, that. Well, it's just coming on, though. No, so no, it's no, not time limited, is it? We're